Hi everyone, today we will review our graft preparation technique that we use here at American Hip Institute for our hip labral reconstructions. So the first thing we do is we whip stitch the posterior end of our allograft using a specific type of suture. A quick note on our graft preference, we tend to like a 6.5 or 7 millimeter single strand tibialis anterior posterior allograft. We like the inherent tubular shape of this graft as well as its ability to be very replicable and there is no donor site morbidity. On the anterior end, we then throw a rip stop stitch using a specific type of suture. This suture is once through and once around and then with an embedded knot within the graft. This allows it to be low profile and also act as a rip stop for the suture anchor. At the same time, the suture itself is not exposed to the femoral head or the joint. It's important when tying off this end to make it as tight as possible, and we use an AAB method here. Next, we're going to cut the suture ends and make it as flush as possible. And then lastly, we amputate the graft, trying to bulletize it for easy incorporation. In the end, this is what the graph looks like and it's ready for our knotless pull-through technique.